my name is Rhapsody. Welcome back to Slay the Spire, uh, where we will never, ever, ever pick mayhem again. I hold a grudge. All right, lose all gold for two card removals. Do like it. Hmm. Okay, there's two upgrades to elites. There's one with no upgrades whatsoever and four elites, depending on what I get as my early cards. If I get double dash or something, double dash or like dash skewer, then maybe. Maybe. Almost certainly not, mind, but maybe. Right. Easy set him up and knock him down right there. Take a dagger spray for a little bit of AoE. Alright. Not a great opening turn for us right there. The reason being, it guarantees that we take one damage next turn because we didn't have Neutralize or Survivor in the next hand. But only taking one damage in this combat, totally okay. A backflip here. I was actually considering the poison stab, believe it or not. Oh, you don't believe it? Alright, fair enough. That does make sense. But I was considering it, for the record. Okay. Extremely lame. I was very much hoping to neutralize all the survivor there. Okay, Essence of Steel gives us... That would be our second Poison Stab if we had have taken the first one. None of these, save for the Poison Stab, are actually good against the Elites. You know what? I'm just going to go for the Elites. Screw it. First run of the episode, I'm going to be a bit more risky. Oh! Now there's a Decay in my deck. Now I don't want to do it. I'd love to remove the Decay, but... Footwork is really good, but Bane is obviously synergistic with our ducks, uh, deck so far with the Poison Stab in there. Footwork is too good to turn down, though. It's not impossible to turn it down. I should have used the Essence of Steel last turn. Could have saved myself three more HP in this combat. If I'd thought about it for just a couple more seconds, I would have realized that the rest of my deck was very likely to be defensive and that I was very likely to be able to defend with the help of plated armor. Okay, Dagger Spray now kills that frontliner. I don't focus on them myself. Immediately show that out to be true. Only have to block for 10 a turn. Damn. One shot here. So lose another one on my plated armor. Alright, I'm gonna play it slow. Rather than take extra damage that turn. <clears throat> Hey. That decay left in the deck doesn't make me feel great. Uh, not a great hand there either. Alright, alright. Give me some... Well, I wanted one more attack or one more defend. That's the perfect bad split right there. Centennial Puzzle. The first time you lose HP each combat draw three cards. And a Caltrops. With an S. The thing I was doing before, by the way, uh, was intentional. I'd say Footworks and Caltrop. Rather than the, effectively commuting the... Yeah, I'm going to do this. Uh, effectively commuting the S. The pluralization. That's the best defense I could have conjured up that turn. Yikes. I 
I'd have loved to play the footwork this turn, but I don't want to take the extra damage. Okay. I mean, we're actually managing to perfectly defend on a lot of these vulnerable turns. Feeling pretty good about that. Mm. Not feeling too great there, though. By Slaver, hello, Bane? Or Predator? We have one poison stab in the deck. I don't know if I want to build into poison. I took it effectively just as a... A little bit of a help for our damage in these elite fights. And... I mean, that's already far surpassed by the power of a Predator. Uh, we also picked up the Blood Vial at the start of each combat. Heal for 2 HP. This is why we included an AoE card in the deck. Which we didn't get. I'd have loved to play Dagger Spray here, but unfortunately the Sneaky Gremlin was the one protected by the Shield Gremlin, so I couldn't have killed it with the Dagger Spray, so I would have had to invest more damage. Okay. Starting to feel less comfortable with my decision of going for the extra two elites here now. I'll be honest with you on that one. Bye, Mad Gremlin. Hello. Fire Potion. All right. Pretty handy. No, we're not doing Grand Finale. Nor Bouncing Flask. Okay. Predator is incredibly important here. So is Poison Stab. I'd love to do the footwork, but... Also don't really want to defend in this combat if I can avoid it at all. This should set me up for lethal this turn. Predator plus any other attack. Got him. Preserved Insect. Enemy and Elite fights have 25% less HP as well as the second copy of Predator. Let's do it. Um. Okay, I'll buy two potions. See if I can find anything desperately useful here. I'll take the Dex potion. going to be very important that we open this fight correctly. Footwork Predator in the next hand. Come on. Nice. So we've got four decks here. I have to play another defend. I'd love to play an attack here, but I'm playing another defend. I really would have liked to be able to play Predator, but it was just too costly, obviously. Come on, Predator. No Predator. That's okay. We can still get one here and then Fire Potion afterwards. And Fire Potion for the kill. Nice. Thread Needle. Started combat with four plated armor as well as Terra Accuracy Catalyst. We'll take Terra. I really want to upgrade Footwork. It is risky, though. Because we just don't draw defense one turn, we're suddenly dead. If I don't lose enough HP in this combat, I'm going to be mad. Well, definitely looks like we lose enough HP in this combat. I miscalculated my energy. Mm. 
not a huge fan of how this is going down so far. Nice. And definitely not a huge fan of this turn where we're dead. Oh, wait, no, the enemy will transform after the first hit, right? No, but they are weakened. Good. Yikes. Not a great draw for us. But can we stop getting the world's worst draws? Jeez. I'm glad I rested, because I could not have anticipated this going this badly. Uh, and we're now dead. I double defend. I don't defend myself for enough. I die. I attack. I don't attack for enough. I die. We needed more weakness in that deck. Three fights at one HP. That could get me one free elite. No, I'm going to go for the two random colors. No, I don't want to do that because my first space is going to be a shop if I take the path I want to take. I'll avoid that. Okay, we got Forethought, which I hate. But we also got Deep Breath, which I quite like. Mm-hmm. Should have just Forethought a strike on the bottom of the deck there. Oh, that's how much I hate Forethought. I don't even use it. Forethought is the new mayhem. All right. I mean, we're already being offered a deadly poison. Space one. I have to take it. Okay, I'll deep breath first because I'm looking to get back to my poison as quickly as possible. So before I play any other cards that I would include in my discard pile and then in my next shuffle. Fine, I'll take a Bane so that I have a bit of damage for actually going through elites. Of course, it is predicated upon the idea that I get the deadly poison first. So I'm going to have to have more deadly poisons in the deck. Because the identity of this deck does look like it will lean towards that way. Uh, no, none of these. Seven HP for thirty-five is, is a bit steep, especially in the early game. Yay! I managed to poison one of them. Alright, so frontliner is dead next round. They're probably also attacking that round, and they are beautiful. Alright, well, gang didn't want to draw me lethal, but that's more than okay. We only ended up taking one damage and still get the kill. All out attack is our first off at AoE. Mm hmm Should forethought something at the bottom of my deck before we do any waking up. Actually, probably should have just put Neutralize on the bottom of my deck. Like, sure, now I get a better defend, but... Neutralize is way better. 5, 8, so we block for 13 this turn, so I can say 7 HP with the Speed Potion right now. I'm actually going to do that. And then 10 damage rather than 5 block on this turn. Yep, Neutralize turns up on the absolute worst turn for it. Let's Deep Breath here. And then Forethought Neutralize because it's not useful this turn. It's not weakening the enemy. Oh god! All that attack discarded the card that I was trying to play. You. I thought I'd played it because it went up towards the center of the screen. 
Okay, so I could have had four more HP here. Biolog Vulan. Hello, Vajra. Take a leg sweep as well. Vajra started to come up with one strength. It's a 50 50 that this next elite is the Sentinels. Yikes. That's rough. Well, at least we've weakened the enemy for a very long period of time. Somehow, I don't think it's going to save us, though. We're almost dead. And now we are extremely dead. That's what happens when you play risky. Alright, 16 minutes and we're starting our third run. Oh, nice. Time for a compilation of speedruns, apparently. Uh, I guess this one should be even riskier. Because clearly the problem with the last one was that we didn't play risky enough. That's what I took away from it anyway. One enemy down. No. Completely ignore all of that. Noxious fumes. Yep. So now I want to go noxious fumes and just a bunch of defensive options. I'll actually take the money here because we might be able to pick up something in this store that we could... Oh my god. Catalyst. Yes. As well as a removal of a strike. Incredible. Incredible. Take the frontliner down instantly. I uh, don't know if I need any of those. Broadly, they provide what the deck already has in AoE. Bag of marbles at the start of each combat apply one vulnerable to all enemies. Bane, I mean, yes, Bane does hit twice when you're doing things like this, but does that mean I want it? In the early game, yes. In the late game, no, not really. However, we are currently in the early game. So I'll give it a bit of a go. Very glad to get Noxious Fumes on the first turn here, as well as two strikes. Means that my Bane is now active for the rest of the combat. We're going to be in the combat long enough that we don't want to play either of these defense. Okay. Unfortunately, Bane was at the bottom of the first shuffle, which is the worst position it could have been in. Uh, you know what? Fine. I'm going to blow the enemy up this turn. Smiling Mask, the merchant's card removal service now always costs 50 gold, as well as a regen potion. Take an escape plan here. So that was a gremlin knob, so this isn't, but that could be a gremlin knob up at the very top. That's the only way the escape plan would be something that I would regret picking up in this deck right now. Okay. Managed to... Draw and hit a defense. I don't want to be weakened next turn, but actually weakness doesn't matter to us. I'll kill that frontliner next turn. It's fine. Yeah, weakness doesn't matter to us too much because we primarily deal our damage with the poison. Now, unfortunately, we only have one poison source in the deck so far. That needs to be rectified. Definitely use the regen potion. Oh my god. Noxious fumes on the first turn. And the catalyst in the same hand means that I'll get back to that catalyst at the time that I want to play it. Neato. Not playing the catalyst yet, though. Definitely want the weakness next turn. No, don't manage to draw it. And now I'm going to get them utilizing the exact wrong hand. And because it's the bottom of the deck, it's not going to turn up in our next shuffle. Lame. So lame. Goodbye, Lagavulin. Hello, Tingsha. Whenever you discard a card during your turn, deal three damage to a random enemy as well as... No, not in Venom. I mean, I don't have other poison applications. Yeah. Fine. I'm not happy about it, though. Alright, we're generating a card here. Glass knife. It's pretty good. 
So it would up to 12 twice on a target. Doesn't even really help me do what I want to do here. Just gonna choke to kill the backliner and then triple defense. I use choke there because I actually want to include that in the deck going onwards. Neato! We actually got three damage in there. Oh. Absolutely incredible stuff. Enemy down, no damage taken. Beautiful. Mm, I'll take a poison stab. I mean, it kind of rides the line between the two different things that we want in this deck at this point. So, okay. Ooh, it is the gremlin knob. Okay, very glad I have the poison stab at the very least then. Weakness. We did get weakness on this turn. 24 incoming damage means we're dead, and yeah, we're dead. Even if I defended that turn. I know I'm playing risky here. I am 100% aware. I like to change things up from time to time. We can go three rests, two early shops, two elites. That would help me possibly snipe one elite though, so I'll take it. Early Noxious Fumes again, sure. I'll take a well-laid plans, actually, this early on. It'll help me hold a catalyst that I intend to take on later. All right, now I'm about to go to a shop where I don't... Ooh, Crippling Cloud, lovely. Where I don't necessarily think I'll be able to buy anything. Ooh, backflip, though. Nice. I had to go to that shop because if I went to the fight, then I would have wasted my last charge of Nyas Lament. Which is obviously marked for... This combat. Ginger, you can only become weakened as well as another off uh, another crippling cloud or after image. After image is incredible, but how many how many cards are we gonna play in a turn? I'm gonna take the crippling cloud. And upgrade it. Centennial puzzle, the first time we use HP each combat, draw three cards, as well as I'll take the max HP rather than the curse there. Just because it could be a problem in an environment like this. I'm holding on to the Crippling Cloud until after I've had the first trigger of Noxious Fumes in AoE. Use the Ghost in a Jar this turn in order to save myself a lot of incoming damage. the other crippling cloud here as well. Spicy. Beacon and oh hell yeah. Now that is some noxious fume action going on. Goodbye to each of you. I'll collect my winnings now. Kunai, every time we play three attacks in single turn, get one dex. Okay, we now know exactly what we want to do with this deck. Uh, and I'm going to want a bunch of small attacks so that after image is now totally applicable. Move the card, sure. Strike or defend? Strike first. Definitely anger the mushrooms. I'll take 8 damage this turn in order to get both of my primary damage abilities out, as well as the weakness across all of my enemies.
And now they're all set up to die this turn. Oh. Just charming, isn't it? I'll also take my odd mushroom, studage combat, sorry, studage combat rather. Uh, when vulnerable, take 25% more damage rather than 75%. We'll take a slice as an easy to play attack for the sake of the kunai. <clears throat> no more elites left this floor. Ah, right, of course. That definitely should have just been another attack. Oops. Not that it cost me anything, but still. Right. Crippling Cloud again. Sure. Whatever. Let's do it. This uh, this final fight is actually going to be pretty, pretty difficult for us. Get another attack. Nice. We did get another attack, but we also got Noxious Fumes, which we kind of have to play. Okay, so the enemy is at least weakened for their large hit turn. So 21 damage from where they're currently standing takes them down to 81. So if I struck, that would take them down to 75 and split them this turn. I don't want to do that. Nice. Split the enemy at 37 apiece. I've even got another Crippling Cloud in deck. Don't you dare say I'm not prepared. Right. Backflip. Let's focus our damage on the target that actually is definitely going to be splitting this turn. Love that they try to weaken me here. Afraid that one's not going to work for you, friends. And basically everyone's now dead. Goodbye, slime boss. Hello, second floor. Oh, I knew we'd finally see it. Last knife tools the trade and corpse explosion. Corpse explosion provides a lot of AoE, but so do those crippling clouds and noxious fumes. We already kill everything basically in AoE. So we're looking for defensive things primarily here. None of these are that. We'll take the glass knife just so that we can try and like instantaneously remove a target from the field. Uh, Hovering Kite. Gain energy and discard two cards at the start of your turn. You get to discard... Like, you get to choose which two cards you want to discard. Problem is, a lot of the time, we will want to play all of the cards in our hand. We definitely want an energy relic. Alright, I'll take the Busted Crown. Gain energy at the start of each of your turns. And future card reward screens have two less cards to choose from. Three attacks, so I get my point of dex, and then I'll defend as best I can. I'm actually going to regen potion here as well. I might not get the full value out of it over the course of this fight, but it's very important that I play it. Make space for other things that I'll want to play later. Oh, the frontliner is still attacking. I don't know why I was certain the frontliner wasn't attacking that turn. I should have just done the Crippling Cloud double defense. Did at least end up getting full value out of my uh, regen potion. 
Yeah. Only because I need to put attacks into this deck. One of 20 cards? Sure. There's the catalyst. Yeah, there's the catalyst. No, no ear sounds about that one. Has to be. Hold another strike in hand. Okay, they're going for the weakness this turn. Bold move. Definitely not going to pay off for them. I mean, look here. They're already dead. And then the three poison applies at the start of the round and dead. Nice. Thank you for offering me a deadly poison. I was thinking I just wasn't going to find any more... Cards that were useful for us over the course of this entire run. And instead, they're plentiful. Now, I'm going to try and equal their health totals as best I can here. So that when they both get healed, like now, yep, they're still vaguely going to die around the same time. Nice. So unless this is a heal, the enemy is dead. And even though it was a heal, the enemy is dead. Ancient Potion, as well as another Crippling Cloud. Good Lord, I'll take the Ancient Potion so that I can keep five decks on will. Upgrade all strikes and defense. We still have a lot of them in the deck, yeah. Definitely need the catalyst upgraded as well, especially because we're about to start going for elites. Right, good crippling cloud. Duh. Not super keen on that catalyst just yet, thank you. Still haven't found a well-laid plans, which is actually a little disconcerting. Probably shouldn't have held crippling fumes here. Uh, noxious fumes, rather. Should have held the deadly poison. Alright, I'm actually just going to use the speed potion this turn without using the Ancient Artifact. I'm totally comfortable doing that. <clears throat> I'll have another Speed Potion come along later. Oh well. I ended up taking a reasonable amount of damage in this fight, but it's okay. It happens. Catalyst just never really wanted to turn up at the right time. Turned up before I had all my poison and then at the very bottom of the next shuffle. Juzu bracelet, normal enemy encounters are no longer encountered in question mark rooms as well as... Oh my god, really? Why is this happening? I haven't found any shivs yet, by the way. The thing that I'm looking to use with the kunai. Holy smooth stones, started combo with one dex. Pretty happy to have that, thank you. Definitely should have used the dex potion at the start of this fight. Yeah. Maybe I strategically didn't use it there because I wanted the ability to... Uh, so if I use the Ancient Artifact here, it'll prevent the weaken. No, it won't prevent the weaken, right? Because of Ginger. Am I going to play any attacks next turn? I have two attacks left in my deck. Probably not. Uh, but maybe I strategically didn't use the Dex Potion so that I would take damage that turn so that I would get my extra draw from the Centennial Puzzle. Ever consider that? Hmm? You didn't consider it. Oh, because it's nonsense. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense.
Wah. Shouldn't have played the after image there. I should have just struck twice. Alright. Enemies down, though. Prey wheel. Normal enemies drop an additional card reward. Okay. Uh, let's take the standard 100. Oh, I could have immediately offered here. I'm actually going to offer the glass knife, removing it from the deck as well as gaining myself 10 max HP. And a full heal. It's pretty damn potent to do. Footwork, gain two decks, as well as ninja scroll. Uh, ninja scroll, start each combat with three shivs in your hand, which is one more dex for us. <clears throat> we'll also take a leg sweep as a very good defensive card. We'll also upgrade the after image because that's three block on turn one now with the shivs. Nice. I would have loved to hold that crippling cloud. Up an extra point of dex. Unfortunately, we still take the damage. <clears throat> now, I definitely don't want to hold the catalyst uh, the entire time. Because it's going to be a while before I play it. So it'd just be a waste to hold in hand. After this turn, the enemy is below half HP. Okay, so that means that this is when I throw in my catalyst. And now they're dead. We get to completely bypass the second phase because they're about to try and purge, but they take the damage first. Ease. Definitely don't care about unload. Ooh. Curse and key. Gain energy at the start of each of your turns. Whenever you open a non-boss chest, obtain a curse. Sure. Just don't open any chests this floor. Well, I should open one and get the Sapphire Key. That's if I care. Do I care? A little bit. Yeah, Catalyst would take way, way too long to shuffle back and be useful there, so just decided to use it while I had it. Goodbye, Orb Walker. Hello, Speed Potion. Told you it'd come back. Nothing we want alongside it, though. I don't really want any of these right now. Maybe card removal? It'd be removing a strike, but removing those strikes also makes it less likely for me to get extra points of dex. I don't really want any of these. Do we have any shops later on on this path that I'm intending to take? We do at the very end. I'm going to take Caltrops and remove a strike. All right, here we go. Get my three hundo. Ooh, a relic. All right. Sneko Skull. Mercury Hourglass. The start of your turn deals three damage to all enemies. Really, really powerful relic. Quite happy to have it, in fact. I play the Catalyst this turn literally just to get one more block from After Image. I don't think the catalyst was necessarily going to hasten my victory here. Not in a significant way. Yep, 
<clears throat> was definitely better off with that extra point of block. No, no, I do want... Okay, yeah, I'm taking both of them. I need both of those upgraded, actually. So now I'm going to divert my path and just completely avoid all elites. Definitely just fight the first floor boss. If we can get Catalyst at the right time here, we can actually... No. This isn't the right time. I mean, that's still pretty good. Especially considering they both decided not to attack this turn. Lovely. Alright, so we managed to perfect this fight. Beautiful. Goodbye, enemies, and hello, Tingsha. Whenever you discard a card during your turn, deal three damage to a random enemy, as well as a pre upgraded blade dance. That's just one point of dex whenever I play it. Uh, definitely remove a strike. Then I want to upgrade a cloak and dagger, upgrade a cloak and dagger, and I'll upgrade a Caltrops next floor, I think. Ooh. We're not going to be targeting the Orb Walker in the front line, so I put the poison on it. <clears throat> so that's more significant over a longer period of time. wonder if that was just a stupid thing to do. Feels like it might have been. So I'm holding on to the Speed Potion and Ancient Potion for the final fight next floor. Awesome. <clears throat> Dubu Doll. For each curse in your deck, start each combat with one additional strength as well as a pre-upgraded deflect. Hell yeah. Get a curse in my deck for opening this. Take the Sapphire Key. That was Doubt that we just picked up. Not even that bad for us, frankly. Is Donu and Decker up here? Yeah, it is Donu and Decker. Uh, no. There's a shop next floor. Upgrade footwork and then it's Caltrops that we want to upgrade next floor. So our final pickup is the obvious one. The key. I'll, I'll say the key out loud, right? Because it's totally fair to assume that I must have meant something different by the obvious one because I've, I've made that mistake before. Okay. Come on. More crippling clouds. All right. Well, when I said more crippling clouds, maybe I was a little too vague. Crippling clouds? What could he mean? He could mean literally anything. All right. That's them done, though. Start your turn and die. Whoops. Hey, backflip is actually really good in this deck. Pre-upgraded as well. Okay, we might be able to kill the transient. No, we won't. We're not getting back to the catalyst in time to do it. And we only have one catalyst in the deck, so... Man. If only I had well-laid plans, like, one... One card earlier. Right. I mean, they take damage and lose a bunch of their attack damage from the poison, so... It's not like I have to be concerned here. Okay. Grab another 
Crippling Cloud and Hell will even throw in a Bane. 31 versus 27. Oh no. Oh wait, sorry. Zero versus 27. That's much better. Take none there. We'll actually recall. I know. I somehow had the, uh, the memory. Like about... There will eventually be a better way to say one of these things that I always keep asking if there's a better way to say. So I had to use one of my Crippling Clouds there to actually remove all the, their uh, resistances, their artifacts. Had to happen. No, we definitely hold the catalyst there. Am I gonna let a misclick do that to me? Gotta get my extra points of dex. Alright, never mind. We're coming back to catalyst now. We're taking Crippling Cloud. We haven't got either of our Noxious Fumes out yet, which is starting to grate on me just a little. Yeah, both of our Noxious Fumes on the absolute bottom of the deck. Alright, I accept 6 damage this turn so that I get much closer to killing the backliner. Alright, so... You know what, I'm stripling your poison. And then... You're now dead next turn, right? That'd be 77. Now you're dead next turn. Oh no, but I also had... Damn it. I also had thorns, so I probably didn't need to use the second hit there. Oh no, but the, the armor that they got at the end of that turn means that I think I still did. Nice. Keep the deadly poison, because I get to apply it in a turn where they aren't attacking, so I get two turns worth of its damage before I actually have to worry. I shouldn't have used my... Survivor there. I should have just left it in hand. Could have exhausted it later. Sorry, could have just played it later on. Yep. Looks like I don't pay for it though because of the thorns. Easy. Spire shield and spear are going to be a little bit difficult as well. That's our Ascension 12 victory with the silent though. Smith goes on Caltrops, obviously, here. Uh, we're not going to be on full HP, but enemies with weak deal 40% less damage rather than 25% is huge for this deck. We have a lot of weakness in here. Mayhem also turns up to try and apologize to me, and I flip at the bird and run away. Fool me once. And fool me twice, or something like that. I don't know. It goes something along those lines. All right. We can keep the catalyst in hand, which is nice here. We also play the crippling cloud literally just to remove the artifact and get that weaken. All right. I got myself two points of dex on that first turn, as well as the one point of dex I start with from the all these smooth stones. So well, it's going quite well. I throw out the catalyst there prematurely. Quite happily as well.
Just because that Spire Shield does need to go down as soon as possible. It is capable of some ridiculously large hits. Okay, neither of them are doing anything this turn. Crippling Cloud, Crippling Cloud. Play, uh, play Dance, attack the other target. Oh, that could not have been better. Just gotta defend against what's in front of me right now. That's it. It's only even 28 incoming damage. I don't need to retain any of those. Come on. And that is one dead Spire Shield and Spear. All right, time to go into the heart. That is actually going to be the best part of the fight because this speed potion sitch. Oh my god, ornamental fan where we play three attacks in a single turn game, four block, which we're obviously intending to do often. Uh, this speed potion, ancient potion stuff is going to be insane for us. There we go. I'll defend before I do anything here. Crippling clouds keep the enemy weakened. They're going to be weak for next turn. 33 incoming damage. Like I give an S. I would have liked to play the Crippling Cloud, but I mean, only taking three damage that turn. Come on. Clearly a priority. We still don't have well a plan, so we can't hold a Catalyst should we happen to draw one. And we do. That's a bit unfortunate. I don't know if I'm going to get back to that Catalyst in time to play it. Not impactfully. I I have to I have to take my time here. Great. Okay, we've got both of the noxious fumes up. Got pretty much all of the best position stuff for what we want going on here. Got a ridiculous amount of decks. Emmy stabs themselves to the tune of 75 damage. Gotta keep the enemy weakened until Doomsday, effectively, here. Thankfully, they can't purge that weaken. All right, we're ready for the catalyst now. There was a better ordering to be had there where I play all of my attacks and generate all of my attacks before I play any of my defense that turn, but it didn't matter. That's the end of this fight. All right, Ascension 12 Heartbreaker as well as the Ascension 12 Victory. Whew. We're going to be done with our standard Ascension grind really soon at this rate. Until then, though, my name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been Slay the Spire. Hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves. There's a playlist in the description down below with all my content of the game, past, present, and future, and hopefully we'll see you next time.